All right, I want to do a quick talk about testing your low oil pressure readings to see if they're true and whether it's a gauge or whether it's the sender itself or actually low oil pressure. 98% of the time it's probably just a bad reading and it's a sender. So you unscrew the sender. This is a, happened to be a single pole sender. They come in double. And what we're going to do is you're going to replace that and you can see right up inside of here where that was removed and that copper fitting was installed right up here. And as that copper fitting comes out on this particular engine, you can see where it's screwed in right into the oil port. That's 1 8 NPT 27 threads. And I run a copper tube, 8th or 16th inch up to a T with compression fittings. And the compression fitting's there, and you can see I can take the sender and screw it right into the top of that, which also will act as its ground. So we'll be able to compare signals inside the cockpit. Then this tubing continues on, on this particular one, into the cabin. And you can see that it's connected to the gauge. Now right down here, what I'll do is when I first start this, is I'll loosen this fitting, let a little oil drool out, just to make sure I've removed all of my air. Then I'll be able to compare this gauge to the gauge on the instrument panel and compare mechanical pressure to instrument pressure um, on the panel. And then we'll be able to diagnose troubleshooting this, whether it's a bad ground, bad sender, poor oil pressure. Um, and then when you're done, then all you gotta do is just reconnect everything. Uh, you don't fly with it this way, you can test this on the ground.